All right, and welcome to week five of the new ECW. We would just like to thank uh, the Jamsaw from from WCW for allowing us to be with him last night, and thank him for joining us here tonight. Well, thank you for allowing me to also join you here tonight. Uh, big fan of what you guys have been cooking up on ECW, and. and Excited to see the, what's going to happen uh, after the last week's uh, pay-per-view. Yes, and uh, we see that um, uh, John Cena's um, going to be doing a promo here, um, but we just like to apologize on the the e the ECW's uh, half. Um, it wasn't uh, we said the wrong name of 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 Chris Benoit's son. Um, it will be, uh, it was Dave, right? Is that what? Exactly. Yes. We, yeah, we... it was Dave, David Benoit is the, uh, the son currently looking into Yes. I apologize for the mistake. Yeah, there. yes, we do apologize. It was the ECW's fault. We didn't, we didn't get our facts straight before we said it, but, uh, we just hope you can, uh, look over what, what, what was said and, uh, enjoy what's going to be coming out here tonight with, uh, John Cena's promo. And we know that Cena has been coming off uh, a, a rough, a rough month at uh, at the ECW. Definitely, it seems like getting attacked over and over again. First by uh, first by uh, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, and then by two masked superstars. Hmm, is something that's different about uh, John's look? Oh, and we we know he 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 lost uh, two two. Two weeks ago at Rise of the Ashes, um, I guess our answers are true, and the rumors he's snapped. It definitely looks like uh, he's had an attitude adjustment. Oh yes. <laughs> wow, we're getting really angry up in here. I mean, I don't, I don't understand. I, I, I mean. John Cena's John Cena. I don't know why he would. I know it's been teased for for his whole entire career that he go heel, but took it backstage, seized up the competition. Oh, better than him, better than him. I don't know, Cena. I mean, arguably, John Cena is better than most superstars, so I th I think he might be in the right. Here. attacking the company definitely well I mean like maybe he feels his safety's been threatened with how things have been going doesn't feel he's been getting his just desserts and rumor has it we're getting word from from backstage that John Cena has approached uh, a, a, a female superstar and she has uh, she, she, she joined him on his endeavors and uh, they won't say who, but she's in action tonight. So um, hopefully we'll get our answer soon. But so honestly, Cena and somebody else feel like this heel turn is justified. And we know Bobby Lashley um, won the world title at the pay-per-view. Oh uh, no! Oh, that's gotta that's yeah. gotta hurt Cena. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. He he won it from from Shelton and John Cena faced him at the pay per view for it, and Bobby retained it. So that was it corrected. That that was it corrected. But the fact he's coming off a month of losses is really not that great. Looks like Bobby doesn't really want to talk. Nope. Bobby never was much for words. Ooh. Ooh. Never attack them where it hurts. You never attack them in the mom, though. It's seen a lot of mom play lately. <laughs> I, <laughs> what's he trying to tell us here? Cena's new slogan is going to be Got Milf? 
<laughs> oh my lord. Well, it looks like Bobby Lashley is going to be the face of the company now. Yeah, well, I mean, he doesn't really have anything left to prove with uh, John Cena having beaten him at the pay-per-view. That's true, that's true. Well, Cena, this, this Zero is your world champion. You can't... It is true. It his, is true. Uh, his name is etched in history books as one of the greatest of all time. It is true. It is true. Ooh. Definitely things getting heated. Was Bobby ever in the Indies? No, he was a. I don't he, think so. He, he was, was a just veteran. Like came from from uh, MMA directly into wrestling. Yes, and he was a. Uh, if 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 I remember correctly, he he was a military boy as well. That's true. That's true. When he first started out, I think his gimmick was uh, being a marine Ooh. because he was a marine. Uh, yes, yes. So so we do thank him for his service, but. I feel like John Cena's not embracing what Bobby Lashley has been doing for himself. I don't know, it's almost mocking him by being in fatigues. I mean... I mean, at least in his pants. Oh, yeah, and, and, and we all know that when Bobby signed with uh, the ECW, he dropped the Lana Marriage uh, skit, so we know that it's all Bobby, 100%. Yeah. Bobby doesn't need a... Bobby doesn't need a mouthpiece. He can handle his own. Mm-hmm. He's going back to 06 Bob, Bobby Lashley, so he's letting his actions speak for themselves. Cena so, you know, always having a slight edge in the in the verbal contest. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's turning on the fans. This ain't good. What's this? Ooh. Is Bobby showing respect for Cena? I don't know if it's respect or if it's just a, uh, you know, keeping it, uh, keeping his distance just because he's worried. Seeing this new type of John, he doesn't know what's going to happen. He's like a powder keg. Hmm. Alright, so our first match of the night is going to be Paige and Liv Morgan uh, in a Falls Count Anywhere match uh, for Liv's NXT Women's Midcard Championship. That's right. Uh, Liv won that after also helping uh, Sonya Deville win their tag match. So last week, Liv uh, dominated uh, mm -hmm. Rise for the Ashes. And I'm really, uh, and if, uh, and, and if, uh, her looks are lying to us, she isn't rocking the, the pigtails and bright purple and white shirt. No, she definitely seems a lot less punk and a, a lot, a little more serious. Could she be, I, I think she might be, I think our answer came a little too quickly, to be honest with you. I feel like her and Cena are going to be fighting the system together. It's quite possible. I mean, they, they've both had very similar mistreatments lately. I mean, Liv with uh, working two, two, two matches in one night and Cena getting jumped by many people. It's I think they, 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 they just took, they can't take it anymore. Nice kick to the head, keeping Paige on the ground. That's what you gotta do. Don't let up. No, do 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 not let up. 
page has been out of action for a couple weeks, so um, the fact that she's in the title picture uh, as of tonight really, really is great for her career. Well, for sure. I think she's earned the spot from before. She's just getting the opportunities that she missed out on due to injury. Yes. And she hasn't really lost too much of a step. She's been taking it back to live, going for uh, another modified fisherman suplex. Mm -hmm. Back is screaming in pain. There you go. There you go. Ooh, there you go. Nice bridge. Nice. There you go. Ooh, nice knees. Oh, knee to the face. Definitely lives Ooh. not all full of sunshine and rainbows anymore. Oh, no. Oh, there oh, you go. Taking it to her face. Going for the pin early? Yeah, I knew it was going to be a one. one. A little too soon. Oh, dropping her to the canvas. Screaming. Screaming into the crowd. Vintage page. Letting her. Letting her get in the. Oh. Can't let Love do well, that, that, though. That was almost a big mistake, but luckily she avoided it. Yes. Ooh, nice kip up. Oh, and live right back up. Ooh, there you go. Nice. Yeah, no, Liv is coming. Liv is coming off uh, a, a a rough rivalry with with uh, a fellow female superstar, and then being put into two matches, which she shockingly won the title in the second one. Um, but I think she just had enough with with authority once again. But she cracked very differently this time. She's not the cute rebel that every that every man swoons after. She's a very serious uh, rebel this time. Yeah, very dark, mysterious force yes. to be reckoned with. Yep. I go throw her. Oh, I was gonna say throw her in the corner. Ooh. Well, imagine if Liv defeats Paige and then gets Paige to become one of her disciples. Ooh, that'd be nice. And then. Everyone that lived his feet, she can then bring into the fold, so to speak. And then just have John Cena as uh, the uh, as a front the runner. Godfather. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Bring out his staple of of uh, <clears throat> women superstars. <laughs> Woo! All right, looks like Paige is focusing on. They back the Oh, yep. Oh. Liv gives up. Oh, what does that well, say for? Unfortunately, that means that the stable idea I just came up with. <laughs> we we <laughs> love all work. the ideas, though. We love all the ideas. But no, so. So, 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 it, it has been confirmed that Liv and John Cena have, um, both had enough of the authorities and, and have joined forces to change up the, the ECW for, for its better. So, I mean, I would love to see a dominant, uh, heel Cena and a dominant heel Liv, which tonight didn't go very well for Liv Morgan. But I would just love to see them together and taking out everybody. Well, the plus side is at least uh, Liv should get a rematch. Yes. She still might be able to pull one over on Paige, but it's also nice to see Paige holding the belt that she used to hold. Yes, and it's, it's, it's very fitting. It's very fitting. Now, from what you saw, what did you think of the uh, heel Liv Morgan? I think she was ferocious and tenacious. Excuse me. The uh, only uh, thing that she had is maybe she was still nursing wounds from having to win, uh, having to face two different matches mm -hmm. last week. Uh, that might be the reason why she just wasn't able to pull through today. I don't think maybe she was 100%. And we're getting a surprise um, 
promo from Braun. Now we know that uh, we know that Braun. Man, a few words usually. Yeah, and we know that Braun that uh, Brock Lesnar was going to have a promo uh, if they won or lost their match on the pay per view, and I guess Braun's beating them to it. Hopefully, Braun has some words to tell us. Well, I mean, I'm definitely excited to hear what he has to see to say. Definitely not one to mince words. Mm -mm. So far, so good. Hopefully, he's talking about Brock Lesnar. His his. He's not happy with his new T-shirt. <laughs> no. Yeah, Braun, we get it. You're strong. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not happy being tag champion? Well, definitely, uh, it's uh, it's seeming like that. Or maybe, like I said, maybe he's just not happy with that t-shirt. He keeps pointing to it. <laughs> oh, no. Rabbit dog. Gotta be careful, Braun. Rabbit dogs get put down. They do. I don't know if Brock Lesnar is going to like the sound of what's what's been saying. No, definitely not friendly vibes between the beasts and monsters. Oh no. Yep. It's over. So and if what he's saying is true, he's vacating the tag championship it definitely sounds like it and if, uh, if 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 that's the case the gem has got to get 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 on work of who should be rightful owner of the new tag titles exactly i mean you can't keep vacant titles for long in this well it looks like uh Braun doesn't give two shits about anybody. Not happy with the fans. Not happy with Brock. I mean, it was only a mad it 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 was only a matter of time before Brock and Braun really bumped heads. Yeah, I'm sure. I just figured it might have happened a few months down the road. <laughs> Not right after successful title defense, but you know what better time is there? Just to rub it in your face. Go, this doesn't matter to me. And we're getting word that something's going to be popping up on the Titan Tron. Um, oh, it, you're, 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 oh, Tommaso is here. Oh, backstage altercation. I guess this is our new 24, uh, well, it's our new 24-7 champion facing Matt Riddle. As we had discussed on WCW, this was going to be the, the challenge this night. Yes, and, and it, it seems like he got here fast, fast than a, than AUJ Styles did uh, last two weeks ago. Seems like and, he, and he I, would... I wonder if he's more prepared than AJ Styles was. I mean, the last time that I remember seeing Tommaso in a backstage match, uh, that was against Ricochet, and things didn't go too well for him. Hopefully it doesn't play out the same. I mean, he's in un he's in un unfamiliar territory, but he's not in a un in an unfamiliar match. So... <laughs> There you go, Matt. There you go. Got to root for Matt Riddle in this mindset. Oh. Oh. Oh, bounced right off the door. Oh, that must have broke his nose. Yeah, but that's not something that would stop Tommaso. Oh, no. I'm sure he's broken his nose multiple times in his life. He seems like a street fighter. Oh, yes. Oh, until the... Why would you do that? So, ah... Uh, You've you've been watch watching Tommaso's uh, career grow. What does Matt need to do? Being this his first match with Tommaso backstage, what does he need to do to really ground Champa? 
Well, what he needs to do is never let up. If you give him a second to breathe, Champa comes back with a with the new wind, with a new life uh, breathed into him. So you really have to keep on him and not give him the opportunity to change the momentum. Oh, and choking him out. Ooh. What's this? Big suplex right into the door frame. Oh god. Two. And then on the second one right onto the floor and a third. Is he gonna pitch him right through the doorway? Ugh. Almost yeah, almost. Almost. <laughs> Matt's not looking too hot right now. Well the cameraman's on acid tonight. <laughs> he's doesn't know where he's going. Ooh, oh, on the is that Matt right on his neck. Is that metal? That middle strip? That is definitely a metal rail. <sighs> Matt, nice kick. Yeah, if I was Matt, I would I would pick up that that shelving unit and smack chop a few times with it. Keep in mind, 24-7, it's, uh, there's really no rules other than pin them or make them submit. So you can be anywhere, you can hit them with anything. Ooh, there you go, nice. Oh, could this be it? Oh. Oh, oh God. Devastating pile driver on that surgically repaired neck of Champa. Oh, this can't be good for Champa. Ooh, big knee to the face. Champa calling for Project Champa. Oh, oh no. Oh, neck breaker. So oh. the finish was just a signature. Ooh, raking the there you go, raking the eyes. Yeah, raking the eyes with the wrist tape. It's gonna suck because you get a little bit of that glue off of that wrist tape in your eye socket. Mm-hmm. Your eye closed up, you won't be able to see. Oh, could this be it? Riddle's calling for it. Oh, bye, Champa. Another. No. Oh, what do you, Matt? You gotta do something. Matt should have gone for the pin, but instead he's trying to hurt Champa some more. This might be where he makes his fatal mistake. You, you can't, like... Champa's not the type to let you get too many opportunities, but when he gets one... Oh yeah, and like like we stated uh, last last night that you can't really sleep on Champa, and I, I feel like Matt has figured that out, but he doesn't know how to put it into effect. Dropping him on his neck again. Well, he definitely needs. Uh, he definitely knows how to work a week. Yes. He can't close. Oh, there you go. Nice pickup. Dropped him. Nice. Yeah, another slam down to the ground again. Can't win without a pin. Mm. Taking too much time. That or just knock him out. Yeah. Uh oh. You gonna go for a suplex of sorts? Yep. Oh, Slowly picked him up, dropped him on his. Yep. Great. So he he knows what he needs to do, and that's that's attack the neck. Oh no. Now Champa should put him through a table. That's what I would do if I was. Oh, he's choking up. Oh no! It taps out to a choke. Oh no! Oh! And Champa retains the twenty four seven championship. Oh no! So now we gotta figure. No, Matt, you were supposed to take it home. Ah! Oh. So it seems the GM has put into effect all tag contenders are in a tag match to see who will be champion. And um, since it's showing our our newest uh. Draft, dra drafted tag for the division, uh, Miz and Morrison. Um, we will also state that we drafted MVP for our main card. We d we drafted Carlito for the mid card, and we uh, drafted Bailey for the main card and Alicia Fox for the mid card. So hopefully you'll be seeing uh, the women next week but as of right now we are focused on a gigantic eight-man tag
Now, this is going to be a fantastic contest of so many superstars in the ring at once. So many superstars. Uh, I really couldn't even say who I think is going to win. I mean, I, I would love to see Miz and Morrison win, but just because they're the, the, the new team and also because I was big fans of them back in the day. Mm -hmm. But they've, they've got some big challengers in there to, to have to contend with. Correct. I mean, you got what is the dominant, uh, the Hardy Boys. You have the dominant... Um, the, the, the AOP who have, to be honest with you, they haven't really been holding up to their standards. Well, yeah, the, the AOP have been on a, a, a bit of a, a downward slump lately, but mm -hmm. they're, they're still a force to be reckoned with. They're still two powerhouses. I still think that maybe if they were just brought under uh, the wing of someone, if they had a good manager, mm -hmm. they could help them out, help, help them figure out what path to take that they could really, really uh, thrive. Correct. And there's so much to focus on right now. I don't, I, I don't even know who, who from my monitor to look at. That's incredible. It's like a whirlwind of destruction. So, who are you trying to uh, fo fo focus on uh, at the moment? I think John Morrison, just because I, I, it's been a while since I've seen him in action, and it's, uh, like you said, I was a big fan of his back in the day. I did watch a, a few of his matches in Lucha Underground, but I never watched any of his TNA stuff, so mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's been quite some time, maybe, maybe a couple of years since I've seen him in the ring. Big show screaming. All it takes is... Punch to Jeff, going back to Acom. All it... All it takes for a big show, and there you go. All it takes from from, from Big Show is that one punch. And that one WMD, and mm. you're out. But keep in mind, just a punch is not enough. You also have to pin your opponent with that many people in the ring. You a bunch of people to contend with. Correct. There you go. Oh, somebody got a rope break. I guess it was Ray and uh, Matt Hardy. That hardy. Ooh, look at the strength. Picking up the big show for a big bear hug. Oh. But again, rope break was too close to the ropes. Ooh. That's one thing I think AOP does not have is ring awareness. No, no. I, I feel like... Morrison set to hardy up, but Ray just didn't catch on. I feel like they're... So Morrison got pissed off and kicked Ray in the back of the head. I feel like their ring awareness is not up to the top tier of the rest of these superstars. Exactly. And DDT by Jeff Hardy. There you go. God, there's so much going on. I, I, I gotta say what person's doing it and what they're doing it to. Ooh! John Morrison going for that. But what's it? Matt with the back DDT. So... With a match like this, what is your, but besides doing your finisher and pinning, what is your main focus to win a, against six other uh, superstars? Trying to get them out of the ring. If you can get everybody else cleared out of the ring so only you and your opponent are there, it'll give you a higher chance to be able to pin them so the others can't run in and break it up. Mm. But Ooh. I think we're going to, it's going to, be a while before we see that happen, because in order for that to happen, really exhaust your opponents first. Correct. Jeff, after the twist of fate, went for the pin. Matt going for the pin. Exactly. Ooh, nice. So do you think John and The Miz are, are, are coming into a big disadvantage from from all the things that have been going on in the ECW as of lately? Well, I don't think so, because they're coming in fresh. Everybody else has had battles over the past few weeks, and, I mean, they've just been able to lounge around now. So uh, I think they're coming in with the freshness and the uh, tenacity uh, that's required. They they came in to succeed. They didn't come in to play second fiddle to others. So uh, I think the the only thing that's against them is that some of the some of the opponents are, are much bigger, like the AOP and Big Show. Mm -hmm. Big Show with that leg drop. Yeah. And Jeff taking the Miz down and then turning his attention to Ray. Yep. Going for that pin. Could this be it? 
No. Very close, though. Very close. Oh, could this be a 619? Oh. No. Oh, no, because Jeff decided fuck that. <laughs> oh, my lord. God, so much going on. Matt's getting demolished on the outside. Yeah, it looks like uh, Akim on the inside is letting Reserve take out uh, Matt on the outside. Yep. Uh, Ooh, that nice submission. Gotta keep an eye on what's going on, because earlier I saw him uh, not focus, and it enabled Big Show uh, to go for the cover. Correct. And all of these tags, they're they're dominant in their own right, and they they don't bring the same thing that uh, that uh, the rest do. They're all dominant, and they're all uh, forced to be reck reckoned with in their own rights. That is true. Um. So if so, if you were in this match, who would you go after first? Well, I think probably uh, Ray. He's the smallest, mm -hmm. easiest to injure. If you could get him hurt more, then you have a better potential. So I think John, uh, outside, even though right now he's not fighting back hard enough, probably has the best chance to really hurt Ray if he took advantage of it. Right. And Ray is the biggest little man. No, the big, yeah, the biggest little man. Uh, but that was in the WWE. This is this is an entirely different playground. Well, definitely. I mean, he still has he still has a lot of drive and spirit and and speed and even strength uh, behind him. So I don't count him out. Correct. But it's a lot easier to hurt Ray than it would be to hurt Akam or Razar or even Big Show. Ooh, they're both going for the pen. Oh. That's that was dangerous because there was a. Well, I mean, that's a good move by AOP. Right. Had your bets. You cover two different people at the same time. You have a better chance. And Correct. as we saw, Ray could only try to save one person, so he went to help out his partner. Yeah. Uh, that gave uh, that gave the other one the the opportunity to potentially win against. Uh, was I think it was John Morrison was down the club. Yep. Uh, Is the win? Let's see if we can get the highlights on that. That's when... Another case of blink and you'll miss it. Oh, yeah. And that's when Big Show went for the leg drop. And then if I remember correctly, that's when Jeff stopped the 619. Oh, no, but it didn't show it. Well, we do not get the highlight of the, of the pin, but, uh, but your new champions your new... are the uh, uh, pain. Oh, the era of AOP starts tonight. Oh my lord. Well, congratulations on them. I didn't really expect them to be the winners, uh, given everything that has happened over the past two weeks, but uh, they really pulled one out. They did. Now it's all about... Uh, it's much easier to get it. Now it's about defending it. True. Um... And what we see here is the GM has split, officially split up Brock and Braun and put them in their own divisions. And it seems like the Monster Among Men is going to be in the mid-card uh, title uh, a hunt. And he is in a Fatal 4-Way match for Sheamus' uh, Hardcore Championship. I see Carlito's uh, making his debut in this match as well. He is. So, so this means we have two new... Uh, uh, fight, fight, fighters in the division. Um, I know I keep saying it, but I'm not gonna stop. Who is your favorite between Braun and Carlito? Oh, Carlito. For me, uh, I, I like his no nonsense, very keeping it cool attitude. If he's kept up with that gimmick, then that's who I would love to see as GM. Oh. Although Braun is a destroyer. <laughs> oh, yes. Probably more easily rip everyone apart. So I would say who I'd like to see win is Carlito. Who I think will probably win would be Braun. Although, don't don't keep Sheamus out of the mix. I mean, one good kick and a white noise. Correct. And Chad is the, the, Chad is the former and the, and the inaugural uh, hardcore champion. Hardcore champion. That's so, true. So and so then who's got uh the higher right in this? Is it Chad or Seamus? 
Well, uh, again, tough call. Uh, because, like, we've only been on the air so long, we don't really have full stats for a long period of time to go with. But I, th I think Seamus might just have the advantage uh, over Gale in this match just because there's two other opponents as well. Carlito going for the pin. And I've m missed, and I, I, I will say, though, I've... I I have missed Car Car Carlito's uh his his presence in in the squared circle. Agreed. Although I don't know if you caught uh, on Netflix the uh, the show Glow, he's actually plays the brother of uh, of one of the main characters. Ooh, okay, so he's so it's not like he's been been in the shadows the entire time. So he's been active and doing something oh exactly exactly he's been uh, consulting on the show and also had like a, a minor role as being the brother of one of the, the lady wrestlers uh i think chavo guerrero as well has and i know that awesome kong herself plays one of the main characters Ooh. now we know that car that the carlito has shown um interest in both in both uh in both brands um hopefully we see him show up in a few weeks but um he he wants to sign to one of them for his late great uh uncle so that so him being on one of the two brands would be a pleasure really oh for sure um, because we know that Eddie was a dominant uh, force in the WCW, if I'm correct. Yep, and the WWE. Yep. Uh, I mean, Eddie dominated there. To, he won several uh, world championships, several tag championships. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure he was intercontinental for a while as well. I'm not sure if he ever held U.S., but I know for sure he got the intercontinental. Just short of a Grand Slam champion. Mm-hmm. But again, rest in peace, at least the late great Eddie Guerrero. Exactly. Ooh. Exactly. On the ladder. Right on the ladder. There you go. It seems like there's no um, rust in uh, in uh, the game of Carlito. No, none at all. And like I said, being a, a trainer on a, a show about wrestling, and I'm sure he he's been on the Indies a lot too. Oh yes. Ooh. Almost. Oh, nice toss by uh, Gable. Mm-hmm. He's ready, willing. And Gable. And Gable. Just the leg strength to just Slip. lift him up. Definitely. Well, it, it helps that he has some momentum behind him, too. I mean... Oh, yeah. Oh, narrowly avoiding that bat to the head. Like on the... Slamming him down on the ladder. Braun is like, I don't need a weapon. I am a weapon. And he's focusing on the newbie, that is Carlito. Although you should never turn your back on Gable. Mm -mm. He's quick and sly. Oh, someone's got a chair. Ooh. Oh! That's what you get when you don't pay attention. I want to see blood, people. Uh, I'm sure we're not far from seeing some given the way that this match is going. Oh, yeah. Oh, bat to the face. There you go. Oh. Ah, oh, Chad. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. It seems like they're all fighting over weapons. Well, I mean, like, when somebody's holding a weapon, you got to take it away from them. Yep. Otherwise, you're going to end up... Ooh, there you go. Nice. I mean, and obviously Braun Strowman's in the corner. He doesn't give a shit that uh, that that Carlito was using a baseball bat. Well, definitely, and pitching him around like a rag doll, it seems. Mm -hmm. Chad's got himself a ladder, but no one to hit. Oh, now Braun's in the ring. Wait, is this a? Is this a TLC match? No, it's a it's it's a hardcore match. Okay. I don't know why 
why he would have set up the ladder instead of hitting someone with it, but... Right? I mean, you... you, you usually your first thought is a... Thought, thought as a ladder is for it to climb and grab a, a belt or a... Oh, here's a pin. Two. Yeah, no. Oh, and broken up by Seamus. He does not want to lose his title. Going after Braun with... Oh, almost pulled a bro kick. Mm-hmm. Braun reverses. Punch to the face in a, in a snap bear, kicking it to the back. Sheamus is definitely taking it to Braun. Braun's rolling out of the ring. If I was uh, Sheamus, I would just pin Gable again, setting up the ladder for God knows what reason. Oh, yeah. And usually... Uh, oh, knee to the face. And usually that, that, that ladder would cause, cause a lot of damage, but they're not really... They're not utilizing it. No, I mean, and Sheamus doesn't seem like the type that would climb to do any high flyer moves, so oh, no. I'm really puzzled as to why uh, he would even set it up in the first place. <laughs> there you go. Nice, there you go. Throw him in the ladder, that's all you gotta do. Oh, now Braun hits the ladder. What's he thinking? Not very well calculated on his Ooh. part. No, not really. Um, God, you got three. Bi you got two big men in there. I think Chad's the smallest of uh, of the four. But I mean, he's not the th the he he's not the one you should be worried about. It's 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 the champion Sheamus who's. Uh, yeah, there you go. Carlito knows what's up. He set it up in the corner. At least that way, you can whip someone to the corner and have it be a. Oh yeah. Valid weapon. One. Going two. For a sneaky pin. Ooh. That's what you do. That's what you gotta do. That's right. The two big guys distracted on the outside gave him the opportunity to run in and do a quick sneaky pin. So his first match in his e in his uh 2020 e ECW de de debut is a title win. Exactly. Wow. Big surprise victory for Carlito, and he's definitely taking advantage of the opportunities that uh, ECW has given him. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm very, very glad that we, uh, that, that we drafted a man that's, that's so, so dominant that his first night is the new hardcore champion. I look forward to seeing what other, uh, how much prestige he can bring to that t title. And then now we have a triple threat Extreme Rules match, number one contender, and as you see, um, MVP, our 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 n other newest uh, draftee, um, he is being sought out because uh the the gm saw something in 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 him that his two his two runs in the wwe weren't very uh weren't getting up to so he thought that he could uh talk talk to Mon montel and see if uh he also believed the same thing and he signed that contract and we're very happy to have him well it's definitely good to see him in action again he was one of my favorites back in the day i know we won't be seeing any of his uh his giant inflatable entrance uh, material but still right i mean I, I, I just from a performance standpoint i'm sure he's gonna he's gonna bring it like he used to oh yes yes Ooh, nice but oh, but i mean but i mean you're a, a man like 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 mvp that's coming now we know he went to tna and he fought on the indies and all that when when he was fired so we know he's not as ring rusted, but he's going against a dominant man that is Brock Lesnar and a guy that just turned heel, John Cena. So what, in your opinion, if, if you were in the corner of uh, MVP, what do you tell him? I tell him to stay out of the way. Let uh, John Cena and, and Brock tire each other out and then try to... Get a sneaky pin win in when uh, no one's looking. You know, maybe have uh, Ron beat the living hell out of uh, John to a point where he can't kick out, and then do a sneaky, uh, quick 
toss of the rock out of the ring mm-hmm. and do a pin while he's uh, on the floor figuring out what happened. Right. There you go. There you go. Nice ground and pound. Uh, MVP ring aware. Sees John Cena coming in, going for him instead. Putting him in the corner. Oh. Ooh. John Cena got up John real is quick. Made it a rubber, it seemed like. <laughs> I mean, this, 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 this is a new John's, John Cena. So maybe we'll see new things. I mean, I'm hoping. Maybe he'll have seven moves of doom. Ooh, maybe. I mean, I'm hoping that he switched up his 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 move set because of this whole thing. But we don't, we don't really, uh, we can't really tell until he's 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 grabbing a bat. So he's changed his mindset. That's true. You never really see John uh, with weapons in the past. Just the fact he's willing to do that maybe just shows a, a little bit more edge to this this John Cena than we're, than we're used, used to seeing. And John going for the pin, too. There we go. And John is the winner of this triple threat match. I mean, regrettably, that makes MVP look like the weakest link mm-hmm. of this uh, trifecta. But... Uh, I mean, maybe there was a bit more rust on uh, MVP than we originally thought. Um. Yeah. So only, uh, only time will tell. I mean, we saw that. Um, we saw that between the two, Carl, Carl, Carlito won his match. So it, it can't, it, it can't be the ring rust. It's got to be something. Uh, I think it, maybe a part of it is the bat. <laughs> yes. Yes. A few bats to the chest might. Uh, might put you out a lot quicker than if it was just a straight up wrestling match or if it was a one on one where he'd had more opportunity to, to work. Yes. So hopefully uh, next week uh, we'll see him in action and um, and uh, he does better next next week. Well, I certainly hope so. But um, yeah, with that being said, guys, we just want to thank uh, Jamshoff from the WCW for, for joining us tonight. It was my pleasure. And um, we'll see you guys on Monday for Jamsaw's WCW. And drive safe and stay humble, guys. Cheers.